Hey guys, it's Dandy. So today I thought I could just do another more in-depth video about my rings. I know I briefly mentioned it um, in the last video, uh, but since then I've like added some things and I've played around with it. In a, uh, I've played around with it a little more. Um, so this might be just be like a little quick video about my rings this week because <laughs> this past month has been crazy and stuff. This is my first two days off in a row from work in probably f four months. <laughs> um, aside from when we went to the aquarium for my birthday. <laughs> Um, so I'm mostly just trying to rest today, but, um, what I'll do is I will give you guys a quick tour of how I've updated it so far, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling. Um, but yeah. So first things first, um, I use one of my coffin paper clips from Paper Haunt, uh, to make a little charm since this, this cover doesn't have a spot for a charm, uh, but I love my charms a lot, so, <laughs> um, so I put one there. And then, on the inside here, um, I ordered some little pockets and stuff and card holders to put things in because I am a chronic hoarder when it comes to things like that. Um, so, as of right now, I've got this guy. He's still just stickered on because I'm very indecisive and I don't want to actually put a sticker on this, like, pleather. Um, so I might just stick with the taped on sticker for now. <laughs> Um, I've got a couple stickers tucked in these pockets, um, some tracking things from Megan Rhiannon, um, a fortune cookie thing, and something is tucked here too. What is this? Oh, it's Hermes. <laughs> so I've just got this stuff tucked here, I got a couple of my business cards here, um, and then my star stickers. This pocket has my circle stickers and this is just kind of like a list for my aunt for universal because they're going at the end of the year so i'm like trying to plan like a like a to-do list or a how to do things like an itinerary i guess sort of for them for when they go um so in this first pocket it's just like one of these little zippers i've got one of my favorite uh transformers panels here it's also kind of like a good reminder to like keep trying you know when things get hard <laughs> Um, this is like a little card holder thing. Um, it doesn't hold um, normal size trading cards, like Pokemon card size or anything. Uh, it's just, I guess, because since the size that this is, it, it can't accommodate for three cards like this, just because it would be too big. Uh, but smaller cards fit, and then Polaroids fit too. So um, to put other cards in, I've of course got this. I've made out an A out of an A5 card holder, and this is one of the pockets, one of the type of pockets that I ordered. Um, I just cut it in half and hole punched it this way. Um, there's this card again. So this these the these three things haven't changed, um, but I did make like a cover for my journal uh, journal section. <laughs> I can't think straight lately, so bear with me when I stutter today. Um, I just put some stickers on there. Um, this uh, this archive label is also from Megan Rhiannon, um, and so is this sticker as well. Um, but I feel like that will be really helpful. And this paper that I did it on is just um, from like a 12 by 12 scrapbook paper pack that you can get from like Michaels or Hobby Lobby. This calendar is also from Megan Rhiannon. I thought it would be handy to at least have this type of calendar in this book, even though I also have a Hobonichi. That way I always have a calendar no matter what I'm on or in. So it's helpful. I've got the days I work and holidays and special days, uh, stuff like that highlighted. Paydays are underlined. I just made myself a little key down here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this side yet, I'm still thinking about it, um, but here's my list of cameras I'm interested in and a list of uh, things I want to buy. Um, I have already pulled out April's pages, but it's just because the things that I used in that one were so thick and it was bulking it up pretty bad. Um, so I went ahead and took those out and I've got some um, like little 
little uh, plastic binders on the way uh, to put my used pages, I guess, to put those in, um, like finished chunks of stuff. I left my um, Shigaraki box things in here uh, just because I thought this looked cool together. The reds kind of make each other pop on these two pages. And this is where May starts. Um, this is from a blind box. Um, I really, really, really love this series specifically. I got this cute little girl. She's an octopus. Um, this is one of the ones where I wouldn't mind getting every single one of them, but I've got favorites, of course, so I just marked those with pink tape. Um, me talking about Hades 2. This is my stuff from Paper Haunt. Um, talking about how much I enjoy Paper Haunt. I started listening to the Magnus Archives, um, so this is just a little bit about that. This is just some notes about cemetery etiquette. Um, just because um, I'm really fascinated with cemeteries and graveyards and uh, the dead and things like that. <laughs> Uh, which sounds kind of morbid, but I'm pretty sure most of you will understand where I'm coming from with that. Um, and this is some podcasts that uh, one of my friends wrote down and recommended to me. Um, I live in the South, so um, these are kind of like spooky, like South, like Southern related um, podcasts, like Appalachian Mountains and stuff like that. This, I'm collecting uh, tea tags. Um it's half finished, I guess, or three-fourths of the way done. This is just me talking. Um, this is really cute. Drac uh, Drift and Ratchet. Dratchet, that's their, like, name. <laughs> when they're a couple. Um, but I just thought it was cute, so I put it in there like that. This is me talking about Transformers Animated. We had just finished that one recently. Um, and I really liked it, and I, I love Ratchet very much. This is me taking one of those, like, U-quiz tests, um, writing some more. And this is where I'm at right now. I've got these two pages decorated for the most part already, and I'm just going to journal a little bit in those. Um, aside from that, I haven't really added a ton more. Um, I've got, of course, planning for a universal trip. Uh, in my, like, fun little OC section, I've got some more old art that I found and just some notes and stuff. Here's the other pockets that I got. Um, these are PVC cards, um, but I found they work really well for like washi tape cards and they they fit in these little pockets perfectly. Um, and I guess I should have mentioned this already. Uh, somebody commented and asked and I felt terrible because I didn't say before, but this is technically like a personal size planner. Um, it's definitely not A5, but I use personal kind of loosely because a lot of my pages are different sizes but technically this is like a personal planner i couldn't tell you if it's personal wide or just regular personal um but it's like personal size um or like if you're looking for these kind of accessories and stuff um amazon and a lot of places will have it listed as a6 which is not actually truly a6 so i don't know the point in that necessarily um but you can find accessories and stuff by looking up like a6 six ring binder stuff um this is a test page actually um and i've cut it so i can pull it in and out easy uh but yeah anyway this is pvc cards and i use them for washi tape so i can take a little bit of a lot of my favorites with me um these are pockets for sticker sheets this was from my moleskin can you tell that i'm scared of using it and not liking or running out of it I don't know if that was a complete thought, but I'm sc I don't, I want to use these, but I also don't want to use them. Does that make sense? I want to use them, but I don't want to use them up, which I guess I could just get more. It's no big deal, but it's something that is hard for me sometimes. Um, it also came with these, um, and this is also what I made my um, little card holder out of. I just cut it in half and trimmed this flap and then hole punched it. Um, and it took me a couple tries, so I wasted, like, the one or two of these sheets, but um, I'm still going to find use for them somehow. But I like these because you can hold smaller stickers here. Um, and, yeah. This, of course, is my sticker sheets. Um, reusable sticker sheets. And then this is where I keep my ruler and a $2 bill and my other charm. 
I don't have any tucked in anything tucked into this pocket right now. But yeah, so we're just gonna journal a little bit. So I was out the other day with Dylan and Sirius, uh, and we went into Bell's and I found this really cute bag. Um, and I've been kind of sort of looking for a new bag recently. Um, because I take my big, uh, Fjall Raven Konkin everywhere, and I love that bag to death, but it is a very large bag to take everywhere. Um, and I also had, like, a little tiny crossbody that I would take, but I needed something that was kind of a good midpoint between both of those things. Um, and I found this really cute leather bag. I didn't want it to look too Percy girly, if that makes sense. Maybe that's not the good way to describe it. I didn't want it to look like um, my grandma's purse, necessarily. I didn't want it to be like a grandma purse. Um, but I wanted it to be nice. And so I found this. It's pretty much a crossbody bag made out of leather, which I enjoy. That thing's got 11 pockets in it and it's awesome. <laughs> so I just decorated it with some keychains and some buttons and stuff, which it might be a little frowned upon to put uh, buttons through a genuine leather bag. Um, but I feel like if I didn't decorate it, it wouldn't be mine. Does that make sense? <laughs> Lately, I've been obsessed with this um, kind of like, I don't know what you'd call that. It's just like diagonal lines in a line. <laughs> um, I just think it looks nice. I don't remember where I first saw it, uh, but I've been doing it a lot lately as like a design choice. And I, I it's, I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> Um, I really like my Micron pens. Um, I like that it's archival ink, um, and I like the way that they write. They always dry pretty quickly, too. Um, my only complaint about these is that they're kind of uncomfortable to hold for a long period of time. So I've thought about maybe getting some of those, like, little grippies that you would use in elementary school to kind of slide over them. But I don't know how well that would work because of how far the lid comes up. I don't know. I'm undecided. Sorry if you hear my dogs. They're really loud. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like it's really hard to... Lately especially, I feel like it's really hard to gather my thoughts coherently. Um, I don't really know why. I think I'm honestly experiencing autistic burnout. And I think I've been experiencing it for a while now. Um, but I think it's getting to the point where it's really, really taking a toll on my, like, my cognitive abilities. Um, which I don't know if that makes any sense, but I feel like that's what's going on. Um, I feel super foggy lately. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, I think it's just hard sometimes because I feel like a lot of the times when I'm writing just like personal like journals I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot and it's just me going like man I'm really tired lately man I'm really tired lately <laughs> um 
and so I feel like sometimes it's a little bit boring uh, for people uh, or for my journal I guess for every single page that I write just to be me going man I feel really tired <laughs> um but uh we've thankfully at my job we've got uh somebody else so hopefully every other week from here on out i'll maybe get a a, a an extra day um so i can get two days off in a row every once in a while um which that's not to say that i i work six days a week i i, I do only work five days um, but my days are split to where my days are Wednesday and Saturday off. <laughs> so it's a little hard sometimes because it feels like all the days kind of blur together, if that makes sense. Um, but this is a nice outlet for me, even if it's just me repeating myself a lot, if, if that makes any sense. So I'm also going to write a little bit on this page too to fill that up. Okay, hi, sorry about that. I seem to have the problem almost every single time I try to record where I run out of storage on my phone. <laughs> um, so what it, what I was saying is I'm gonna write a little bit here. Um, I think, um, I also, also was saying I learned this trick from my friend Bucky. Uh, they highlight before they write uh, what they're doing, what they're writing in the highlighted part. That way your pen doesn't smudge, which is so smart. What I'm going to do, because these rings sometimes hurt, is I'm going to take that out so I can write here. And that's another thing I really like about the rings is um, that I can just take out pages to write on a flat surface, which is really nice, I have to say. Sorry, I don't have a lot to say. Um, also, I've gotten to where I can't talk and write at the same time. I used to could, but now I get confused. So, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm being quiet while I'm writing, but I hope you're enjoying it anyway. <laughs> also, I know I wear this hoodie a lot. Um, it's the most comfortable hoodie I own. Um, I bought it in Savannah three years ago. Ew, that was three years ago. Um, it was my first like big trip in a very long time. Um, and this hoodie just means, it's more of a sweatshirt, it's not actually a hoodie, but it, I like it a lot, um, and I've worn it so much, and where I play with my sleeves, it's, this poor thing is falling apart, and it could probably do with some kind of mending, but I just don't know how, um, but it's the most comfortable one I own, so I wear it as often as I can, even though it's like, and this is the only part, everywhere else is fine, it's just my sleeve cuffs that are like falling apart for some reason, um, so that's an explanation, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, and now I could write on that piece of paper 
on the flat surface and I can just pop that back in there. And there you go. I love that. And I can rearrange too if I wanted to, even though these are technically in a uh, like chronological order. But yeah, I really I really, really like that about the rings. Um it's really nice. I also got McDonald's for the first time yesterday because I was having a bad day. So I went out during my lunch break and got me some chicken nuggets. <laughs> Alrighty, um, I've got some other things to write about also, which I don't know where exactly I'm going to be putting these yet. I haven't really thought that far ahead. Um, but yeah, so we might just leave that there for now, and I'll think on that stuff later. Um, but yeah, I guess that'll be it for this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, sorry it wasn't quite as detailed or in-depth as it usually is. Um, and thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I'm hoping to have another Dandy's Diaries out soon. Um, just to con it's Again, it'll probably just be a compilation over a few weeks. Just because, um, really, I... I, I, I I'm mostly at work, <laughs> um, so my Dandy's Diaries are going to be more uh, spread out time-wise from here on out, um, and thank you for bearing with me through that. I really enjoy making those um, because it, it's, a nice, it's a nice compilation of the good things and the little things that really bring me joy. Um, even when there's big things in the video, uh, in the Dandy's Diaries, it even... It, it just reminds me that uh, good things still happen and good things are still out there, um, even in the mundane or in the big. And that's kind of the point of those. Um, so I hope to have another one of those out soon. Um, I also want to do a video about my camera collection, if you guys would be interested in seeing that. It's something I'm really passionate about. Um, and I have a few cameras that are like my babies and I love them. Uh, so yeah, just let me know, I guess, if you guys would like to see something like that also. Um, and I will see you guys, um, in the next video. Bye! That was a weird wave. Bye! <laughs>